I still remember when my guitar teacher said the word modes to me in freshman year, Berkeley College of Music. I didn't know what he was talking about. Beast mode? Savage mode? Oh! What kind of modes are we talking about? Major scale modes. I know what the major scale is. I didn't know there were modes of a major scale. My teacher played a single droning note and went through each mode, switching effortlessly between them, demonstrating in a simultaneously educational yet captivating display. So I'll try and recreate that experience for you now here in this video. Here are the seven modes of the major scale. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Well, if you ever wondered about the modes of the major scale, this video is now your major grail. You know, holy grail, but it's a good pun, okay? I hope that performance at the top of the video demonstrated the various sounds and textures, qualities of the modes of the major scale. And this is a segment from an extended lesson in Guitar Super System, my app for guitar players, which you can download, link in the description. And it's absolutely humming right now over there in Guitar Super System, so I just wanna say thank you guys so much for your support. Now let's get to some popular songs that use each one of these different major scale modes and how they actually apply to music. For each mode example, we'll use the same root note of G. What that means is the chords are going to change, but the tonal center, our home bass, will always be G. Always. I promise. G is always the root note. You'll also notice identifying major scale chords to associate with each mode sound if you want to try and learn them yourself. Even if you don't know music theory, my goal is to always leave you with something actionable for your guitar playing. A lowercase Roman numeral means a minor chord and an uppercase Roman numeral means a major chord. So there's a G minor over here, but in this key it's a G dominant seven and in this key it's a G major seven. So in the key of C major, you'll see G is the fifth note in the scale given it's made up of other relative scale tones, this will form a G7 chord, baby. And that chord would be our one chord, even though it's the five chord in the key of C major. This is music theory, it's a language, more than just an array of sounds. In this lesson, your one chord is always the mode's root chord, so G Phrygian means G is the third note in the scale and it's a minor chord in that key signature. So as such, an identifying chord progression is the root chord, one minor, and the two chord, a major flat two.
It'll all make sense as you put these words into action and see how these little formulas play into the examples. Seems complicated, but I have to explain it before I just jump right into it. But now we're gonna jump right into it. Ionian is the happiest sound in the major scale modes. one of the greatest metal songs of all time uses the Ionian mode, the happiest mode. That's Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Or of course, Cliss of Dover by Eric Johnson. to Dorian. You'll see that modes have identifying notes, such as the major sixth in this case, that really brings out the harmony in each mode position. So that's what these modes are for, is to outline the chords that are happening beneath them. So you can look at it like the chicken and the egg. Did the chords come first or did the modes come first? But one thing's for sure, Evil Ways by Santana takes advantage of the Dorian mode. Santana, that's why he's so cool, the Dorian mode. Moving on to the Phrygian mode. Wherever I may roam, on the fretboard. straightforward there. Really metal sound. Lydian, however, a bit more dreamy. Flying in a Blue Dream by Joe Satriani is one of my favorite melodies in Lydian mode. wouldn't you say? Mixolydian is much more joyful, I would say. Happy blues licks, of course. But also pop songs, like... Coming up to my favorite mode, Aeolian. It's also known as the natural minor scale. This flat sixth is a really identifiable note with that flat sixth major chord. All along the watchtower comes to mind. mode of the major scale Locrian which nobody really has a use for but it can sound very interesting the thing I like most about Locrian is the three note per string position they are really conducive to some cool licks Learning your mode.
modes is also about learning the chords associated to the major scale and understanding that the modes are simply the major scale notes starting from a certain point in the major scale and the patterns thusly become a little bit different sounding because of the intervals, the where your emphasis is on certain licks, for example. The more you understand about key signatures and major scale intervals, the more fluidly you'll be able to transition from one key to the next with ease. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Guitar Super System if you're interested in more music theory or tips, tricks, licks. And it's always hard to end these YouTube videos. I just want to stay here with you.